Hi, I'm Kushali, your tutor for this class, and today I'll be teaching you simple algorithms. Time to learn simple algorithms. First up is linear search. Linear search is nothing but a sequential search for finding a particular value in a list, which checks each element in the list, sequential. Let's understand using an example to make life easier. Consider a queue of students standing randomly and you have to find one particular student. Then you have to check the first student. If he or she was the desired student, then stop. Otherwise, move to the second student and repeat this process until you reach the end. Let's look at the algorithm now. We make a method linear search whose arguments will be the list in which we want to find the element and value would be the number which we want to search in the list. First, we take variable i as the index of the list and found variable which will store true when the element is found, else the default value of found is false. Now we iterate to the list, scanning each element, comparing it to the value that we pass in the method. Then, if the element and value are equal, then found is set to true. And we exit the loop and return the index which is i and the value of found. Otherwise, we increment i and continue to the next iteration. Now, if the value that we wanted to search in the list is not present in the list, then value of i is returned, which is one greater than the last index of the list. And variable found is returned false. We can understand it even better here. We want to search element 5. We will first set variable i is equal to 0 and found to false. Then we will compare it with each element until we reach the end. First, we will compare it with the element stored at the index 0, 10. And that doesn't match with the 5. So we move to the next element. Next element at the index 1 is 8 and compare it with the 5. This goes on till last element. If we find our desired element in between, then we will stop and set the found is equal to true and return the value of i and found. In this case, we will return 6 and true. That means the element is found and it is at 6th index. Isn't that easy? Time to implement linear search. By now, you must have understood what it is all about. You must go through this code once for better understanding and solidify your concepts. Here, linear search method is called twice on the same list. First, we call with searching Python in the list and then we search 11 in the list in second. Call. Now, let's study binary search. Don't worry, I'll make it easy for you. It's also known as half interval search. Let's understand this by a simple example. Consider an Oxford dictionary. How do we search a word in it? We first split the dictionary in half and then we check if our word lies in the first half or the second. If it lies in the first half, then we select the first half and split it again. And we keep on performing this procedure until we reach our desired result. The main thing to keep in mind is that at each step, we are getting rid of the half of the initial data, whereas in linear search, we are getting rid of a single element. Now, let's look at its algorithm now. We make a method binary search whose arguments will be the list in which we want to find the element. This list must be sorted. The value would be the number which we want to search in the list and the variable size would be the size of the sorted list. First, we'll set the start is equal to 0 and end is equal to size minus 1 and variable found whose default value is false but when we find the value, it's set to true. Now, then run, run a row, uh, while loop till variable start is less than equal to variable end. And in that loop, set variable mid equal to the sum of a start plus end and divide it by 2. Now, if the value of the element need to be searched is already at the mid value of the list, then exit the loop and set found equal to true. Else, go to the next step. 
Now in the next step, if value is greater than the mid of the list, then we will drop the first half of the list and set e start equal to mid plus one. Else drop the last half of the list and set and equal to mid minus one. This is done till variable start is less than equal to variable end. When variable start becomes greater, it means that list has finished and the element we wanted to search in the list is not present in the list. At last, we return the variable value of variable mid. The value of the index where we find the value and variable found which will be true or false as per our result. Now let's try to understand it. Here let's consider the list shown in the image and we want to search 19 in it. Initially we'll set the start it is equal to 0 and is equal to 11 and found is equal to false. So in loop 1 mid is equal to 5 as calculated over here. Now since 19 is greater than n 8 so we'll drop the first half and we'll set the start is equal to 5 plus 1 which will be 6. Now let's move on to the loop 2. Here mid value will be 8. Since 19 is less than 12, 21 so drop the last half. Now set the end is equal to 8 minus 1 which will be 7. Now in this loop 3 mid value will be 6 and as 19 is greater than 11 we will drop the first half. Now set the start is equal to 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. So now in the loop 4 mid value will be 7 and since 19 is equal to 19 oh we found our variable. So variable found will be true and we will return the mid variable and the found variable. Wasn't that easy? Now let's look at the implement. Here comes its implementation. Here we call binary search twice on the same list and in the first call we search the 7 which is present on the index 3 and then in the second call we search for the 55 which was not present. Now as explained in the last tutorial that explained about order of growth, why not compare binary search and linear search? Complexity of binary search is O log n and is more efficient than linear search that is complexity of O n. The main drawback of binary search is that the list needed to be sorted. Now at that point you must be wondering they both are doing the same work so when to use them. So for an example find an element in a given list but if that list cannot be sorted then you cannot use binary search. It's thing to be noted that if you want to use the binary search then the list should be sorted. So if you can't sort list in any way then you have no other choice than linear search. I think now you can decide you're good to go. Congratulations you are just one step away from completing simple algorithms. Check this quiz out then you can decide whether your concepts are clear or not. Here are the sources. Thank you for listening.